Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time.
Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Even those who prepare for the worst can find themselves stranded for days or struggling to retrieve money through airlines or insurance. Generally speaking, airlines aren't required to compensate you for delays related to weather, and only have to rebook you on another flight or offer a refund. Events such as the West Coast snowstorm lead to situations where thousands of travelers are all scrambling for hotels and flights at the same time. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks. 
something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, 
which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Unlike ordinary actions, which have clear instrumental goals, ritual actions are arbitrary. Cleaning one's hands can be achieved by using soap and water, but a purification ceremony may involve sprinkling salt, burning incense, blowing in the wind or some other symbolic deed. As a result, ritual actions stand out, and people intuitively perceive them as special. The mere presence of ritual marks something of value. Diligent rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction.
Village and rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Village and rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Village and rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Village and rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Village and rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, Landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Village and rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, 
Landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Diligent rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Diligent rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Diligent rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. Diligent rent payment also may not be enough to keep a roof over your head. In a number of jurisdictions, landlords can remove tenants so their own family can use the property. It's a clause open to abuse by landlords wanting to find a new tenant and raise the rent. And the number of owner use evictions is rising. Stricter laws are needed to protect tenants from illegitimate eviction. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. 
The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. 
We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement. The ministry will also secure additional ballistic missile submarines and accelerate the development of systems to intercept artillery rockets. We will strengthen our overwhelming massive punishment and retaliation capability to be able to destroy key facilities anywhere in North Korea in case of its nuclear attack or use of weapons of mass destruction, the ministry said in a statement.